physical, sexual attraction. Hello, my little pumpkins. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay, and today I'm feeling a little sassy. I'm feeling a little frustrated because this is the first time in a long while, I think, I think in a long while, that I have had to DNF a book. Now, I say a long while, but it's also been a long while since I've read this much. So, with that taken into perspective, let's continue. As you know, I have been reading A Sorcery of Thorns for the Newt's Magical Readathon. And guys, it's just, it's just gonna be a no-go for me. Like, I made it to 300 pages, 292 to be exact. Um, and I could not push through any further. I was getting to the point where I was just dreading coming back to this book at the end of the day that I just, I just hit my point. I just hit my limit with the book. Now, with that being said, it's not that bad of a book. It just wasn't something I felt like, I'm gonna put this down. It just wasn't something that I felt like I wanted to waste any more of my precious reading time on. And I'm going to give you a couple reasons why, but first, I'm gonna get into the top five reasons I would DNF a book, okay? Okay. So my number one reason, number one, is, this whole thing of showing, well, telling instead of showing. So for example, um, if you just came right out and said, if you were the main character of a book that was about witches and wizards, like if Harry Potter was like, uh, yeah, I'm a wizard and I'm going to Hogwarts and I'm trying to, um, you know, kill the most powerful dark wizard in centuries, blah, blah, blah. That's it. Like, instead of that, instead of having all of the series sort of explain that in very sort of um, intricate detail, he just said that. That is one of my biggest pet peeves. Telling, not showing. Number one reason I cannot get into a story. Like, no. There are better ways to develop a plot, develop characters, develop storylines in general than just like coming out and like word vomiting it all in like the first couple of pages. Like, no, I can't. I cannot handle that. So that brings me to my number two reason, character development. Guys, if I do not feel like I know this character inside and outside, then it's gonna be hard for me to get into a book. Now that does not mean that I have to know this character in and out right away, but I have to start feeling like I'm developing a close connection to who I'm reading the story about and, and that I'm trending in the right direction. I just need a full character development. I, I need well-rounded characters, whether they're likable or not. Like, they don't have to be the heroine or the hero of the story. They don't have to be everyone's best friend. But I need to understand where their motives are coming from. You know? Like, if they kill someone, do I understand why they killed someone? Or is it just something that the narrator is telling me? Guys, uh, ah! <laughs> I can't. I can't with the lack of character development. So that brings me to my number three reason I might DNF a book. Guys, pacing. Pacing is so just important to me. I don't bode well with slow books. And I, I know everyone says that, but let me, let me clarify. So I don't bode well with slow books that stay slow. Like if it takes me 100, 150 pages because the author is world building and character developing, fine. I will make it, I will push past the first 100, 150 pages to get to the good stuff, the exciting stuff, the fast stuff, the thrilling stuff but it has to get there, otherwise I cannot. For example, good example is House of Salt and Sorrows. Around like 200 pages, I was like, mm, this is kind of dragging a little bit, just a little bit. But there was enough like mystery and 
atmosphere to keep me hanging on. And then it just, it was, it just blasted off. And it was hands down one of my favorite books, truly. Um, so pacing really is very important to me in that sense. All right, number four. Number four reason why I would DNF a book. I need that spark, that almost like physical, sexual attraction to a plot line, to a book. And I know that sounds crazy, but I was trying to explain this to a friend, especially because I was trying to explain to her why I was not going to be continuing with The Sorcery of Thorns. Um, I need to feel like I am thoroughly attracted to a book. I need to have that spark, that flint of flame. Do you know what I mean? Like, how can I explain this? Um, I'm sure at some point in one of y'all's life, um, you thought you could not be semi shallow for a second and date someone that you were not physically attracted to. And then you probably found out later that that doesn't work like that. You have to be physically attracted to your date or your partner or whoever, whatever. And that's where I'm at with some books when I DM DNF them. I cannot get past the lack of almost like physical attraction to a book. Like, there are just a couple main things that will really like set my body a tingling when it comes to a plot line and they have to be there. I have to feel that spark. Otherwise, 300 pages in and we don't have that spark, like you're not hooking me at all. I'm swiping left. Is it left or is it right? Whichever one is the rejection swipe. That's when we DNF the book. You dig? Five. Number five reason why I DNF a book. Um, this is not nearly as important as the other cat, uh, criteria, but I really do love a good, lovable minor character. I feel like minor characters, really good minor characters, round out the story, bring some dimension to the main characters, and sort of create layers that are really important to how much I love a story, crave a story after I finished it. I mean, if we go back to maybe like Harry Potter, the main, char the main characters are phenomenal, but guys, like, well, let me think, what is a minor character? I'm gonna say Dobby because he's not in the books all the time, but Dobby is a minor character that is rooted in Harry Potter history. And he really rounds out the stories because he just creates that extra layer of, you know, familiarity to the books, plot line, etc. So the minor characters, again, this is not my most important criteria when it comes to DNFing a book, but I really think that if you haven't hit all of the other four criteria that I need to continue with your story and then you don't have a lovable minor character just I don't know I'm not hanging on definitely not hanging on now because there's no minor character that I like there's literally no one to anchor me to your story that's me that's that those are the five top reasons why I would DNF a book so let's take it now to Sorcery of Thorns. <sighs> okay, one of the reasons why I did not enjoy this book is because it was so overhyped. And listen, kind of my fault. I bought into that hype. I was really freaking excited about this book because it was about librarians and sorcerers and crazy books that could turn into demons. Like, come on, it off the bat, it was supposed to be a perfect book for me, but it was not for a couple reasons. I found the pacing very slow. It really dragged. There was a lot of fat that could have been trimmed off this book. I think it could have very easily trimmed off like a hundred something pages because it just had a lot of extra stuff that really didn't move the plot along in any sort of way. Um, and I'm trying not to give away any spoilers, but yeah, it just was very slow. And then also I have in the, 300 something pages that I've read of this book, I, have, I feel zero connection to any of the characters. They're very flat. They're very sort of 
one-sided. And they, while the author discusses these very specific character traits of the main characters, I don't think that they're presented in a very creative way or in a way that sort of credits your audience with imagination, if you know what I mean. Like they sort of do the whole telling not showing thing. So for example, a character has a certain sexual orientation and even though I did not finish the book, I'm pretty sure it doesn't advance the plot in any sort of way and it also wasn't built up in the story. Like that really frustrates me. It was just sort of word vomited out in the middle of the book and you were like, why does this matter? Why does this matter? Because it's trendy. It's trendy for authors to explore the whole representation of sexual orientation. Like, yes, I get it. It's important. And I love that there's representation, but also I don't know that it was, rep I don't know that they did the best in representing it. Also, the main character, I swear to God, um, is just so flat. Like, I really don't enjoy her in any sort of way. She's really sort of boring. She's supposed to be this, you know, independent, like, strong-willed female character whose crowning glory is that she's tall, um, amongst other things. But to be honest, I don't feel any sort of pride in knowing her as a reader. That's just, that's me. And really, I don't, I don't have much else to say about the book other than that, except that the writing was just so, like, it could have been better. It really could have been better for all the hype and for everyone who enjoys it. I don't understand. Comment down below if you can just break down for me why you enjoyed this book. Um, it's, I'm going to give it, like, a three star. Like, a solid three stars because... You know, the plot is very cool, um, and I will say the saving grace is that it did have a lovable minor character, um, um, and his name is Silas, And but even he is flat, and he does a lot of explaining, like not showing why he is the way he is or why, the pers why his friends are the way they are, does a lot of explaining, and I'm just like, I feel... Like, this could have gone a better way, but what ifs? I'm not a published author. This is just my reader's opinion. That's that. Also, I started um, a new audiobook called These Witches Don't Burn. I could not even get past the first hour. The writing was also so very corny, and it was also so very freaking trendy. I couldn't even wrap my head around it. The main character's voice, like her like narration, is just so annoying. It felt like listening to nails on a chalkboard. Like, I... So that was another quick DNF, and I was like, oh my god, I hope this isn't a trend. I'm not really trying to DNF a whole bunch of books right now. I'm in the middle of a challenge. So... I am actually replacing um, Sorcerer of Thorns with another book to replace it in the Nudes Magical Readathon Challenge that I'm doing currently. So it's fine. It's fine. And I hope this doesn't happen with any of my other books. So let me know in the comments down below why you would see an a book. I think, yep, that's all I can say about these books and my DNF reasons. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you always know when I've got good things coming to you. Bye, y'all.